All right, everybody, what's up? Leonardo 2003 here, and we are back with TMNT3 Mutant Nightmare. We're on episode 3, mission 11 choose and follow the right path. Uh, this one kind of makes it sound like it's going to be a uh, one of those long trial and error missions where you never know if you're going the right way or not. Looks like we're going to have to go this way to flip that switch. And I just heard Raphael go right through that laser. Boom. That was awesome. <laughs> so I'm guessing we're just going through this entire side just to flip that one switch so we can backtrack. Come on, guys. Quit fooling around. Oh, what's in here? Definitely a, uh... Spot where a sure or a uh, scroll probably was. I got a feeling we're gonna get a lot of crystals from this mission. Man, these foot tech ninjas go down just as fast as a normal foot ninja. Is that the switch right there? Oh no, I don't know what. Oh, I guess it was holding a torch. Beat all the enemies to proceed further. All right. So where am I gonna proceed? I guess there's no switch. I guess you gotta just defeat all the enemies, and that'll turn the laser off. Damn, Michelangelo must have unlimited shurikens, because he was just going nuts. Alright, laser fence now disabled. So I guess the last guy, too. And of course, we gotta go back and fight all these guys. Sometimes we'll spare these guys, but most of the time we won't. Unless it gets a little bit too repetitive, then of course we'll have to improvise and just run right by them. Like right now. It's one thing to verse a lot of foot ninjas one time, but to have to face all the exact same ones, that becomes a little bit too much. Alright, this looks like the right way now. These foot tech ninjas are definitely not as annoying as the ones that were in the first two games. First two games are pretty even, but they stand there. They die pretty fast. And they're not even invisible right away. They come out and they just they're their selves, they're not invisible. Here's another room that I guess we'll go in. And a hell of a lot of <clears throat> again a hell of a lot of crystals, that's for sure. I've been recording these episodes for so long right now that <clears throat> my voice is getting a little bit tired. Been on about a uh, three hour grind. And in that, in, in that grind, I've had some uh, some bad files too, where 
where I was recording the game, it just disappeared, so I had to re-record all the same missions over and over. Just one time, for like five different missions, but still a little bit annoying. I feel like it's with Tech Ninjas, they never even land on you. They just jump right over you, they don't try to jump on you. I didn't even do anything. <laughs> and this looks like it might be the uh, final door. So we gotta take these two guys out. We should be good. That's right. Now that I'm done, can I get a pizza? Definitely gonna get probably about maybe seven thousand crystals. Maybe. If we're lucky. Yep, seventy five hundred. Alright. So here we're at M mission twelve, defeat Hiroku Saki. The Shredden's, the Shredder's quote-unquote human form. Dr. Chaplin reports that all Starship systems are nominal. Congratulations. Tonight will be your last night on Earth. After centuries of being imprisoned on this primitive backwater, I will finally return to the stars. When my Utram enemies return here to imprison me, I will be gone. And when they least expect it, I will be at their throats. Now, see to our guests. This is a celebration, not a wake. Yes, Master. It's my father's way of saying thank you and farewell. <sighs> Planning a little trip? A little outer space mayhem, perhaps? <gasps> not if we have anything to say about it. Your evil ends here and now, Shredder! I shall relish destroying... Alright. Obviously, Splinter's, uh, bow and arrow isn't nearly as good as the, uh, standard foot ninja in this game. Ooh, we've got this sort of Tengu. Jesus. I'm sure he can deal a heavy amount of damage, so we gotta be careful. Oh, just like that. Oh my god. And Donnie was almost dead. Take advantage of these hurricanes. Come on, we've almost got him where he's in his state of uh, vulnerability. Just like in that cutscene, Donnie was missing. He's missing right now, too. He's almost done. <laughs> Come on. We've all got our special attacks, so let's use them. Now he's done. Almost. Wait. What? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at his health. Wow. Ooh. 
<laughs> Down he goes, finally. <clears throat> that seriously took about five tries. Oh, we don't even get a nice little cutscene after to congratulate us. <clears throat> Wow, <laughs> he was tough. Oh great! <laughs> Mission 13, defeat Hun. Chaplain, prepare the ship. We must launch immediately. Opening emergency launch doors! I'll be right back with that, ma'am. Wait, Leonardo, you must not do this. He is finally leaving our world. You must let him go. Let him go to destroy and enslave the Utrams? The Utrams have hunted my father all his life. They are heartless monsters! No, Karai, that's not true! He's lied to you! He's the heartless monster, and I'm gonna stop him! Leonardo, no! Alright. I don't know how confident I am against Hun right now, after this took me so long to defeat Saki. I guess Saki's better than Hun, but still. He's a powerhouse. Get him while his meter's up. Come on. Alright, come on, everybody. It makes such a big difference when everyone attacks him at once. Any, any health in here? That's a no. We gotta be careful. Alright, if anything, anything crazy happens, it's like we got him under control. Even Adani has left us. There he goes, out in style, with our special attack. I won't let you get in the way of my master's plan! There's an elevator! Let's take it down to the rocket's launch pad! We can't let Shredder escape! Alright. Two pretty tough boss fights later. We're still standing. I think that was mission 14, if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, it was 13. So it looks like 14 will be the last one for this episode. Use the lift and head down to the rocket's entrance. Alright. Mission 14, Exodus. Surprised I named the mission after the entire episode, but... Alright. Definitely do not want to get sliced in the head by these things. Nice little soda pop right there.
Alright, come on, Tani. I hate it when they just block when they're in front of them. Just shoot, and they won't, uh, do anything to you. Am I the only one throwing stars at this guy? Oh my god. I swear my brothers are stupid sometimes. Another soda pop, hopefully that one gets us to the end. Alright, who's getting sliced? <laughs> Come on, Mikey. Oh, and Donnie. Awesome. And now Raph's done. Looks like the last few of them right here. Alright, All right. had to uh, beat him by myself towards the end right there. Ignition! Alright, it's a pretty good uh, cliffhanger to leave the episode on. Because next episode we will be seeing the Shredder. That's for sure. But alright, we're going to pick up next episode, checking out the rocket's interior. And we got Karai and the Shredder coming. So thanks for watching everybody, and stay tuned for more. Because I'm finishing this game, or at least the main part, pretty damn soon. So stay tuned everybody. Thanks for the support, and peace out.